Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can visualize and analyze the content of your mind map. So from something hierarchical and categorical like that, you get something like this, which is a rhizomatic representation of the ideas in your mind map, which shows you the main ideas inside, how they're connected, and reveals some insights about the structure of what you've been writing about, so it can be very useful if you want to do brainstorming and to, to come up with some new ideas. I'm going to show you how it works using uh, a sample mind map that I created here on the different types of brainstorming using another app called MindMap. So here what's nice is that you can add a note about every part of your mind map and then you can export this data here so you go into File, Download as uh, Notes, then Text Markdown, use Note Title as Headings. And what happens here is that it exports your mind map with all the comments, all the notes that you added into it. Then you download this data, copy and paste or save the file, create a new mind map, and then simply copy and paste it here. And you basically have two ways. One way is to keep it as it is. Another way is to replace uh, all these hashtags with uh, the at signs, which means that you will basically connect every one of those ideas. So for example, generating ideas is going to be a node in the graph and process design is another node and it's connected to all the words that appear in the description of that node. And you don't have to do it manually, of course you can use the search and replace function in any text editor. So there are two ways of doing it. I like this way because um, it becomes a little bit more precise. Okay, we have this text visualized as a graph. What happens here technically is that every word uh, is a node. So for example, idea mood boarding here, you see, and every co-occurrence of the words uh, is represented as a connection in this graph. Based on that, we build a network graph, apply some graph theory measures, and get this nice insight into the main topical groups that exist in the graph. So this is the nodes that tend to occur together in the same context. Here we see that process design occurs with process and frameworks. Mind mapping occurs in the same context as uh, representing work. Uh, generating ideas in the same context as insight. Visual brainstorming in the same context as mood boarding. You can also click on the nodes to see where they appear. So for example, process and flowcharts, then I see exactly where it appeared, okay? Um, I can also, of course, set up to see all the different nodes. So here I'll see the labels for all the nodes. And finally, have the analytics panel here, and also the insight tab. The insight tab is interesting because it recommends what I could do next to the graph to read through it better. So here it says open the insight tab in the analytics panel and try to think of a question that would link these two clusters. So this is how I can develop the idea further. If I connect mood boarding, visual brainstorming and uh, generating insight. Is there any connection between mood boarding and visual way of doing brainstorming and generating ideas? For example, I could think of the different tools that could be created uh, or used to uh, generate ideas using visual brainstorming. For instance, I can say, what if I use AI to interpret the images and then use those interpretations to generate a text or an article on the subject. I'm interested in. Add this into the graph. I can also add uh, some kind of like a tag marker to it. I'll say that uh, this will relate to generating ideas and brainstorming and mood boarding. Okay, I add this into the graph and you will see these ideas appear as a separate cluster. And I can start developing my discourse in this rhizomatic horizontal way using this tool. And then, of course, some of the ideas, I can integrate them back into this original mind map and see how I could somehow make them structured in that way if that's what I want to do. 
So this is how it works. Try it out on infranodos.com and let us know how it works and what features you would like to have implemented. Thank you.